It's bagel time. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to a new video. And today, it's bagel time. It's time for bagel review to the most requested sequel on my channel. Because we don't talk about popcorn for this too. <laughs> Anyways, hello, hi, if you're in the premiere chat. Hello! Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's bagel time. I don't know what much else to say. We got bagels from a store. I didn't know this existed last year, hence why all the bagels I had were six packs I bought from Target. I didn't know this existed. If I knew this would be this existed, I could have saved money. And also only bought in one of each bagel that I needed. Yeah. Anyways, this year we got six bagels. Thank you to Einstein Bros Bagels for not sponsoring this video, but for supplying me with the needs to make this video. Alright, the six bagels we are gonna be reviewing. Alright, first we got Plain. The only returner from last year. So every every bagel review I ever make will have a plain bagel in it. Just saying that now. Alright. Then we got this one. I think it's cinnamon raisin. Actually, wait, no, this is a return from last year. Crap! Well, the plain bagels will be there every time. I don't know about the others. Yeah. Alright, now the rest of these are all new. I know that for sure. We got chocolate chip, I think that's what this is. We'll say it's chocolate chip. <laughs> I forgot what bagels I ordered. It was like 10 minutes ago, how did I forget? Anyway, we got a pretzel bagel. We got an apple cinnamon bagel. And the most requested bagel from last year, the everything bagel. You're welcome, all right? I ordered an everything bagel. Gosh. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this year we, I actually have three categories. I'm gonna be reviewing the bagels on. Up here, we have taste, obviously. Then, we have creativity. And finally, we have texture. Because texture is important when you're eating food, all right? There will be no butter or oil last year. Honestly, I just did that to pad the runtime. You're welcome. Got smiley face in my hand. Why? Because I was bored. Anyways. <laughs> Let's review some bagels. First off, the plain bagel. Every bagel review needs a starting point. This is our starting point, the plain bagel. As you can see, it's Pac-Man. <laughs> As you can see, it's just plain. I got a couple sesame seeds on the bottom and a little bit of stuff at the top. That's probably just because the other bagels were in the bag with it. But it's plain, so let's begin. Twitter could shut up for two minutes. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. It's a plain bagel. I don't know what you expect. I will say, I like how there's these little seeds at the bottom. I don't know if they're seeds. It's something. It adds texture, which I like. But yeah, it was a plain bagel. I reviewed it last year. I'm gonna review it again next.
next year if I do Bagel Review 3. If you guys want Bagel Review 3 before November 18th next year, get me 50 likes and we'll talk, alright? Or 200 subs. We're actually really close. Look, this is my sub count right now. Guys, we're so close. We're As of recording this, we're only 21 away. Please. 200. That'd be fantastic. And we got water. Alright. Plain for taste. It's a solid middle average five. It's just a plain bagel. For creativity, like it's a one. It's a plain bagel. You can't get any less creative than that. And for texture, I actually will give this a solid four. Solid four. Because I like these little bottom things down here. They add texture to it. Like when I bite in. Yeah, they give extra texture, which I like. You know, let's bump, let's bump that up to a six. Yeah, five, one, six. Giving myself a lot to edit today. Moving on. <laughs> Let's do this bagel. I'm pretty sure this is the cinnamon raisin bagel. I don't know, it's not like I have things of these. Yeah, no, this is definitely cinnamon. It's an elephant inside. Cinnamon raisin. Uh, the only returning from last year, because cinnamon raisin was last year's champion. This is, as of now, my favorite bagel. But who knows, these other bagels might convince me otherwise. Anyways, cinnamon raisin. Hmm. There are the raisins. <laughs> Still not an A smartest, so you're not getting any close up shots of me going like this. Wasn't that weird? No offense, but like... No. <laughs> anyway. Cinnamon Raisin Bagel. Honestly, this one... Not as good as the one I had last year. If we think way, way back to last year's bagel review, here's what I gave Cinnamon Raisin. Which means coming in at number one, the best bagel that I could purchase. Cinnamon raisin with this many points. Nice throwback to last year. I had to unfortunately see myself again, so. Uh, past me, bagel review did really good. How's Big Review 2 gonna go? Maybe me from 2022 can answer that. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I think last year's bagel was better, but this year's bagel, it has good, this year's bagel still has good qualities. Like the texture, it's better than last year. It has these little bumps at the top too, which makes it better. So anyway, taste. 8 out of 10, uh, no, 7.5, 7.5 out of 10, all the way up there, creativity, it's basically just a plain bagel, but with cinnamon and raisin, doesn't mean it's not good though, so I'm giving that, that's it, 6, give it a solid 6, and down here at taste, no, Texture. <laughs> I almost forgot. Uh, a five, a six. So good. Because I like these little top bits up here, and also when you bite into it, those raisins they give like an extra little bit of oomph. If you know what I mean. 
Anyways. <laughs> Next up, we got the chocolate chip bagel. I think that's what this is. I hope that's what it is. Got the inside. All these are like Pac-Man. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, these are definitely chocolate chips. <laughs> anyway, chocolate chip bagel. It's actually really good. I really like it. It's I know it's gonna sound weird because it's a chocolate chip bagel, but it's very chocolatey. Like, I don't know. I think they might put chocolate in the dough because other it tastes more chocolatey than the chocolate chips would lead you to believe. Like, I don't know. Maybe I just got a bite with a lot of chocolate chips, but I don't know. There's something about it. it's just more chocolatey than I would think. So. Who knows, maybe it's just me <laughs> being weird, but it tastes more chocolate. What you gonna do? <laughs> anyway, um, taste, I gave that a seven. A seven on taste. Creativity, it's just a plain bagel, but with chocolate chips it's like it's a four texture wise though i'm giving that a solid seven because yeah it's just i don't know there's something about it like it doesn't look very textureful there's not even those bottom pits but like i don't know it's hard to explain but anyway that's what i'm giving it you can't stop me I'm, I'm the bagel king here. I am, as my Discord rule would say, the bagel god, all right? Also, if you look closely into my glasses, you can see me filming, because my glasses have something in them. I don't know. Makes everything purple. <laughs> all right, next up. Pretzel bagel. Oh no, there's still chocolate on my finger. <laughs> anyway, pretzel bagel. It looks... This definitely is getting high points on texture. I can already tell you that. Because it has all this salt on it and keeps coming off when I touch it. So I should just eat it. That was fantastic. I want a second bite of that. There better be fireworks behind me right now in editing, like. Bring out the heavenly music if it wasn't already playing. Oh, why I don't get paid enough for this. That. On taste, getting a 10. That might, make, that might be my new favorite bagel. I think it's a 10 on paste. Fantastic. Creativity. Honestly? Like, it doesn't look that creative. Like, if you look inside, it just looks like 
a plain bagel. But the outside is what gives it all its creativity. Like, they put in actual lines to simulate the pretzel. An actual pretzel. And then they put salt on it. The salt... I, I can't describe how good this tastes. Like, ugh. I'm in love with a bagel. <laughs> this bagel's fantastic. It's salty, it does make me want more water, but I eat hundreds of pounds of salt. <laughs> anyway, creativity, I give it an eight. A very creative. And texture, a seven. This bagel's probably winning. <laughs> yeah, this. This pretzel bagel is one, maybe the best bagel I've ever had. Sorry, Cinnamon Raisin, there's a new king in town. Alright, next up. We got this behemoth. This is definitely the biggest of all the bagels. Like, I compare it to the plain one. Yeah. This bagel is giant. I didn't eat much of the chocolate chip one one bite, but still, it's freaking big, bro. And there's all this stuff in the middle. I think they're trying to get me to get a middle bite, but like, I don't want to. Well, even though it has all this stuff on the top and stuff, there's nothing inside. Which who knows, maybe it'll taste like the pretzel bagel. It'll be like the pretzel bagel. All the top stuff will give it all its flavor, and I will not. I can't say this. Pretzel one was definitely better. <laughs> I don't know. There's not much flavor here, actually. Like, they put all of the flavor from the top. They just put all the flavor on the top of the bagel, but then there's so much rest bagel that by the time I'm like halfway through chewing it, all the flavor is already gone. And it's just nothingness. I don't know. It does taste good, but the flavor gets drowned out really quick. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, taste. Let's get, I'm going to give taste a, a six. It's not the best, but it's, it's good. Uh, yeah, taste gets a six. Um, what is next? My creativity. Creative, this is a really creative bagel. Like, look at this. That is extremely creative. Creativity, I give it a nine. It's pretty creative. And texture, I give it a five. Because really, all the textures on top, there's nothing down here, there's nothing in the middle. Like, if I can show the freaking middle. <laughs> It's, yeah. All of the texture is just on the top. Looks like it's a five. All right. Final bagel. It's the one we all have been wanting. The one that was missing from last year's bagel review. The everything bagel. Now, why is this bagel so coveted as, um, a ba as one of the bagels you wanted me to review? This is supposedly the greatest bagel in the world. 
like the everything bagel is just the worldwide number one. And, um, yeah, I, I don't know why. It just looks like a bagel with a bunch of seeds on it. Who knows? I haven't tasted it yet, so here we go. I can see why everyone likes this now. Would I call it the best bagel in the world? No, of course not. But it's good. I like it though. It's like, meh. Like, I don't know. There's a bunch of seeds on top, which gives it a lot of texture. This is getting heck of points in texture. Cause they got this stuff at the bottom. I don't know what this is called. I don't know what it's called, but it's at the bottom. Uh, there's a bunch of seeds on the top, which gives it a, a crap ton of texture. Taste and creativity, though, they're lacking. Taste, I give it a 5.5. It's above average. It's better than the plain bagel, but not that much better. Um... Creativity, I give it a, again, it's just, it's just a plain bagel with a crap ton of seeds on it. That's not very creative. I don't know. I'll give it a, creativity, it gets a, uh, I don't know, four. It has seeds and other stuff on it. I don't know. Texture, though, it gets a 10. I'm giving it a 10 in texture. Because it has all these seeds on top. The stuff on the bottom, I like, still don't know what it's called. <laughs> you should really Google that. And, yeah. The middle doesn't have texture, but it's okay, because the top and bottom do all the heavy lifting for me. So, yeah. It gets a 10 on texture, I will say. Alright. It's time to tally the results. I've tallied the results, and I'm ready to announce this year's Bagel Review winner. So, um, the winner of this year's Bagel Review, it was I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't even close. <laughs> but we'll go from least to best. So, Bagel only got the least amount of points. Plain. Which is honestly surprising to me, because last year... This was the second, I gave this the second best, this was the second best bagel. It's not like that I don't like plain, it's just that it's plain. I honestly like plain better than this one, but this one scored higher. It's just this, it's, it's a plain bagel. I can't give it that high of a score. For creative, texture, taste. Taste I can, I could have given it higher, but I didn't. Whatever. Anyway, it had 12 points. Good job playing, if I didn't already say 12, I, I probably did, but anyway, next up, with 18 points, we got chocolate. Now, I'm not going to say any of these bagels were bad, it's just that this one wasn't the best. <laughs> I still liked it, and would I eat it again? Maybe. But... Yeah, this, it's, it's a decent bagel. It got 18 points, it's better than average, but, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's just not that great. All right, next up, we have a two-way tie, actually, between Cinnamon Raisin and everything. They both got 19 and a half points. Right here. Nineteen and a half. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I actually like Cinnamon Raisin better, but the texture on 
everything just carried it all the way up to cinnamon raisins level. So, while I personally prefer this, the texture on this is better than the one on this. So, yeah. <laughs> and actually, this one was last year's winner with, I think, 26 and a half points. So, to see it only get 19.5 this year is kind of disappointing. But yeah, that's how life works. Sometimes a bagel does good one time and it doesn't do that good another time. All right, next up with 20 points, it's the apple cinnamon bagel. Now, I actually like this bagel. Is it the best? No. Is it the worst? Possibly. But <laughs> I ranked it with a nine for creativity. Honestly, that nine in creativity is what made this go so high. But it is a really creative bagel. Like, all this apple shiz in the middle. That's pretty creative. So, good job. And finally, this was no surprise at all. But the winner was the pretzel bagel. With 25 points. Did I say Apple? Apple got 20, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Whatever, I said it here. <laughs> so yeah, this one won with 25 points. And it's so good. If I could have ordered just a six, half dozen of these, I would have. And I would have eaten them all. Shut up, Twitter! Alright. So yeah, that concludes Bagel Review 2. Or does it? If you haven't noticed, We've missed someone this year on Bible Warrior 2. Someone who deserves some plain bagel. We're gonna go see him. Plain bagel. You go ahead. You can have some bagel. I think he likes it. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Please make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. If you want Bagel Review 3 to come out before the day I have set for it, make sure to get me 50 likes, nerds. <laughs> so yeah, see you guys next time. Over team, out! Bye.